Hi guys, the Benny Dorm Enthusiast here with Benny Dorm Stuff YouTube channel. Hope you're all well. I'm here on Levante Beach today and we're going to take you for a little walk and have a catch up on what's been happening here. We've had some more of our restrictions relaxed again this week. The main one being that bars, restaurants and cafes can now open until 10pm. This was fantastic and quite unexpected news for the businesses here. Whilst 10pm is still very early by Benidorm standards and it's a long way off normal, it's an extra four hours of trading made available for the struggling hospitality industry. We have planned to bring you down here on an evening to show you how things have been going, but Mother Nature has had other ideas this week. We've been having some crazy electrical storms here. She's been putting on a real show with the thunder and lightning. If you follow us on Facebook, you'll have seen some of the photos and videos. Really scary stuff. A residential block on Poniente was actually struck by lightning on Sunday night. Nobody was hurt as far as I'm aware, but it did cause a fire on the roof of the building. The fire brigade had to come and deal with it. They did manage to get it under control pretty quickly though. We got some sunshine today, which is great. Seems like the whole of April has been winter again. So it's nice to see a few people out and about. Enjoying the sunshine and supporting the bars and cafes down here. You see Rico behind me. It's been done out, it's looking fabulous and the city sports bar. There are more and more places opening up as time goes on. But the main problem is that although more places are opening, there's still no more people here. So the people are just being spread out th more thinly across the town. There is a real feeling that it won't be much longer now before we start seeing these places picking up. The state of alarm finishes in less than two weeks and hopefully the regional borders will open at the same time. That will mean that people can travel from other regions around Spain to come to Benidorm, so it should be a massive step in the right direction and bring some life back to Benidorm again. These last few weeks since Easter, it has been pretty much dead everywhere. We also really need the weather to sort itself out so more people can get out and use the bars. Sun obviously brings people to the beach and it gives these places down here a boost, but it's been in hiding for a few days now and these businesses are feeling it. The restaurants especially will benefit massively from having those extra hours on a night. Most people, I think, myself included, much prefer going out, out in the evening for a meal. This hasn't been possible for months until now. It's coming up to Tiki Town. They've extended onto their terrace next door. Looking very nice. And they've also, uh, I think they're planning on opening a restaurant on the other half of it. They've got the sign up that says Tiki Pizza. So that'll be interesting to see. Also got Manila Cafe here open and the Guinness Bar, which is fabulous to see that open again. It's a firm favorite amongst you guys back in the UK. Numbers in our region are still really good. We did have a very slight rise in cases after Easter. But we're still one of the best regions in Spain right now, one of the best in the whole of Europe. Our 14-day incidence is around 40 per 100,000. The national rate seems to be stabilising too now. There are some regions such as Madrid and Basque Country where their numbers really spiked after Easter. Took them way above the 250 per 100,000 threshold and put them in the high-risk zone category. But the national rise has slowed right down and the national incidence rate keeps us below with that high risk limit. Average for Spain is around 235 per 100,000 at the moment. And it's hovering around that number. So let's hope numbers come down further again as we reapproach May when restrictions will hopefully be relaxed further. Curfew is still in place at the moment from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. It did cause some confusion when they announced bars can only open till 10 p.m. but they weren't changing the curfew. Being in a bar till 10 p.m. isn't a valid reason to break curfew. Everybody must leave in good time to get home. So if you're all right, if you live right next door to a bar, you can leave at five to be. If you live further away, you will, must leave in enough time to get yourself home before the clock strikes. 
There is a lot of pressure now from the unions to give an extra half hour for the curfew so people don't have to rush their drinks or food. And the bars can take full advantage of the opening hours. But for now, it stays the same. May 9th should be when the curfew is listed altogether. Fingers crossed for that. At least it stopped raining for a bit today to allow people to get out on the beach and enjoy it. There's a few out there, look, soaking up the sun. It does feel like we're all waiting for summer to start and along with it, bring some people back here. The recent weather has made it feel like we've been back in winter. I was gonna get my skates on for the video today, but we've had so much rain still very wet in places down here and I would end up just sliding all the way. Might make for good viewing. Hopefully we'll see at the weekend more people down here if the weather picks up and we'll be able to get out and do an evening video for you. The Penelope Beach Club there. Nobody in it at the moment but they do get busy later on. Also got heartbreak coming up. Another bar that's opening up very soon, this weekend in fact. Been seeing activity at that place in the last few days, so I've been keeping an eye on it. People in and out, getting it cleaned and ready for opening. I'm looking forward to that, it's a really good bar. They're definitely cracking on with the vaccination programme now after a very slow start during the first three months of the year. 25% of the population have now had at least one dose. That's an increase of 15% in April alone, which is brilliant. And it's continuing to pick up speed as it progresses. There's a lot of talk about the digital vaccine certificates being rolled out here and across the EU in June to open up international travel more easily. And I think the UK is looking at a similar timeline for their version of a vaccine passport. Spain's tourism minister has said he wants British tourism to restart in June. So let's hope they can come to some sort of agreement and set up a corridor and get you guys back here for summer. We're still eagerly awaiting to see how the traffic light system will work out after May 17th for leisure travel from the UK, and what list Spain will be put on, and then we'll have a much better idea what position we will be in regarding a summer tourist season, which includes the Brits. Things are looking up, we are moving forward, slow as it may be. We'll get there eventually. We just have to hope and pray this new variant in India doesn't rear its ugly head. Very worrying for us here, as I'm sure it is for you in the UK. What's happening in India is horrific. My thoughts and prayers go out to all the people there. It must be absolutely terrifying. And it's a stern reminder what this virus can do and the devastation it can cause. So we must not drop our guard. We have to keep doing everything we can to keep ourselves and those around us safe and well. Just want to mention quickly about something that was in one of the UK tabloids this week, about a British family living off the food banks. I don't know that particular family, but it is very true. Some people have lost absolutely everything through this and are relying on the food banks to survive. The furlough system is okay in theory, but in the reality, it hasn't worked well at all. There are people, myself included, who have gone months without receiving anything from the government. Some people over a year now. Personally, if it wasn't for the incredible support from you guys who've been watching these videos, I don't know what situation I would be in. I don't know if I'd still be here. It's been pretty desperate at times. So I want to thank you all for your support throughout this. I also want to make it clear that it's not just the British that are suffering through failings of the welfare system. I know the media would love to turn it into some sort of anti-British scandal as they do seem to love inciting hate at the moment, but that most certainly is not the case. I know a lot of Spanish and other nationalities who have been left pretty much in the gutter financially from this and are completely relying on the food banks to feed their families. It's a very sad situation, it really is heartbreaking to see. And for us, it's really keeping us very much motivated with what we do. Our mission, if you like, is to keep Benidorm in the hearts and minds of people who can't get back here yet. Keep the love and passion for Benidorm alive. We try our best to promote as many businesses as we can and give them all some exposure to our massive audience. At the end of the day, people don't come to Benidorm for one or two, or even five or 10 good bars. They come here because of everything that it has to offer. 
The versatility of Benidorm never ceases to amaze me. I've been here 20 years and I'm still discovering new places and things to do all the time. So we will keep showing all of that off for you in the hope of benefiting everybody here. The sooner Benidorm gets back up and running properly, the sooner we can all get back to work and start building our lives back up again. That's all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Levante beach and a little bit of sunshine. Although I believe the weather there in the UK has actually been a lot better than here recently. Can we swap back now, please? I shouldn't still be in jeans at the end of April. That's crazy. Need to get some colour on my legs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We should be seeing a lot of changes in the next few weeks. So you don't want to miss any. And leave us a comment. Let us know how things are where you are. Also, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at the Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.